And another summertime staple in Chicago is returning. Block parties are making a comeback. And WGN's Rob Sneed has the story. This is what many of you are used to hearing and seeing in your neighborhoods. The pandemic has put a stop to block parties until now. The Chicago Department of Transportation will soon start accepting permit applications. Block clubs are a Chicago tradition. Block parties are the way that we get down in the city during the summer. They're a way of building community. They're a way of building uh, togetherness. 35th Ward Alderman Carlos Ramirez Lopez has kicked this fight to bring back block parties into high gear since the Centers for Disease Control released its new guidance. I'm so happy that finally after I sent them a very strong email yesterday saying, look, Lollapalooza was just approved. The CDC just updated it, its mask mandates. Uh, we've known that it's safe to be outdoors. When are we going to have the ability to issue these block party permits? And I'm so glad that today, finally, we got that response. As of right now, the city will start accepting block party applications June 6th. Block parties themselves will start July 5th. There won't be, at this point, capacity limits um, planned for block parties. Um, but, res but you do need to have what we're calling sort of a COVID captain uh, just to help communicate safety protocols. Dr. Allison already with the Chicago Department of Public Health says, though block parties are back, no bouncing houses will be allowed for the kids. Because young children still not eligible for vaccine, uh, we still have concerns for COVID in that youngest group. Um, we're not going to have jumping jacks or bouncy houses. Mm -hmm. um, this year at black parties. And I know that's going to be disappointing for the youngest kids, uh, but it, it is where we are. Well, I was really excited to hear that the um, black parties came back. And then when I heard the restriction of no bounce houses, um, I had to say my heart sank a little bit because that is a big part of our revenue. Lynn Casey owns Bounce Houses or Us. Her business has taken a hit during this pandemic. She says city officials got it all wrong. It's possible to have inflatables and keep kids safe. I do hope they reconsider or at least consider maybe some other options. Like I said, water slides and stuff that aren't enclosed. The process to get a block party permit is the same. Contact your alderman. In Chicago, Rob Sneed, WGN News. All right, we'll still ahead tonight. Chilling news.